Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to present you with another pre-farming guide, but this time for topaz. First of all, as always, uh, the pre-farm materials that you need for your topaz uh, is going to be in the description down below. It's a Google Doc where you will be able to see exactly which materials you need with the lightcon or without the lightcon and so on. On this video, we primarily focus on lightcon option choices and also relics and planner ornaments so let's begin let's start with the light cone choices right away all right here we are obviously her signature light cone is really good but you do also have other alternatives the first best alternative that you could use if you do have it is sword play Nambi does get to do a lot of hits, so you're gonna get great value out of sword play, especially if you have more superimpositions of this light con. However, if you do not have this light con, don't worry about it. There is another option that you can use, which is the cruising in the stellar sea. This light gun is a very nice stat stick. It still provides crit rate. It does provide some attack. It's decent. This is something you can use as a free to play if you do not have swordplay available or you're not planning to get her signature light con. The second nice stat stick that you could use, perhaps if you got it, it's sleep like the dead. The effect crit rate in particular, it's not gonna be that great, but the crit damage boost and the stats, that's about it. So technically you're not gonna get that much out of the entire effect, but it's still a nice stat stick that you can use over cruising in the stellar uh, sea, especially if you don't want to buy it with Hertha Bonds, because let's say you're planning to buy uh, on the fall of an Ion for Jingle or something else. As for five star options, uh, like in the night, uh, there is a celery run after all, so let's talk about it. I do not recommend getting this light con for topaz for obvious reasons because you will have her signature light con available her signature light con as already mentioned it's really good but the problem with her signature light con it's very useful it's very restrictive in usage meaning the light con itself is only gonna be good for topaz herself because it's for follow-up attacks and in hunt category there is no other actual follow-up attacks i mean excluding yanching but you wouldn't really use that in Yanqing. Like it's what, a 50, 60 <laughs> fixed chance to do a follow-up attack, it's Copium, okay? So overall, unfortunately, Topaz doesn't have spicy five-star options behind, beside her signature Lightcon. It's just stat sticks at best, but the sword play is amazing. As for any other light cons that I have not mentioned, I don't recommend using them whatsoever. All right, now let's go over to her relics. All right, so what relics can you use for your topaz? As a big, big disclaimer, there is a dream going around that 1.5 might have new relics and planner ornaments. Wink, wink. So I highly recommend that you don't farm specific gear as of right now, but if you already happen to have these pieces or you got it for somebody else, you could use it on her. But as always, remember guys, substats are the most important thing as of right now. Do not chase for set bonuses if your substats are bad, all right? So make sure to focus on having the main stats and substats as well. So the options that you can use for topaz right now with the current available gear would be double fire set with double musketeer for example that's pretty steady pretty decent you do get that 12 percent attack you do get the 10 percent fire damage bonus that's about it uh, as of right now you could also go with uh, double speed set from hacker space if you wanted to reach certain speed thresholds and probably because you already farmed a lot of this domain you might already have some good pieces of this gear with good with good substance as well as for planner ornaments uh, it's also very straightforward now that is uh, is inert uh, Silsotto. it does increase your crit rate and also it does buff uh, your ultimate and follow-up attack damage. Primarily the follow-up attack damage is important because Topaz does a lot of follow-up attacks with Nambi and also her 
basic attacks are actually considered follow-up attacks when you attack the mark target so that's very important to know guys uh, so this is the go-to set as of right now i don't recommend heavily farming this if they have some good pieces of something else with better substats for example is space ceiling station it just provides attack boosts uh, but that's about it uh, it's still nice it's still okay if you do happen to have good substats just use that instead yeah so overall guys uh, pre-farm for topaz is pretty much simple nothing complex uh, very straightforward as of right now there might be some future options that we will be able to use in the near future possibly from 1.5 who knows we shall see we'll probably get the information of dreams uh, in a couple of weeks uh, or even sooner probably around 1.4 release uh, so we shall see about that uh, if you do want to you know know more about the dreams and stuff uh, i do stream on twitch uh, every day feel free to come in there and talk about uh, sad dreams uh, wink wink uh, and uh, as another reminder guys as always uh, make sure to check the google doc uh, because in the google doc uh, it's gonna exactly tell you all the materials you will need for your topaz and her light if you also go for light con it is also for any other characters you can select and choose it's pretty cool it's pretty useful google doc i always post it in the description down below so make sure to check that one out and as always guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more longest style content i wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next video